Hey, what's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newport from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we are going to discuss how Tony shaved four inches off his waist in just one month using nothing but kettlebells. And maybe you can too. All right. So let's dive into this, all right, and why this is important to you, especially if you're a guy over 35, 45, 55, even 65. Okay. So as you may or may not know, heart disease is the number one killer of men worldwide. And one of the number one signs or symptoms of heart disease is visceral fat, right? It's fat that builds up in your stomach area. Worse, this visceral fat is also responsible for type 2 diabetes, or at least there's a correlation between visceral fat and type 2 diabetes, if I were to be a little bit more accurate, right? Even worse, research has demonstrated that stomach fat decreases testosterone, the male hormone that's responsible for, you know, important things like building muscle, burning fat, and getting stronger and making you look and feel like a man, right? So in other words, testosterone is what makes a man a man. Okay. In fact, research has also shown that the more stomach fat you have, the more stomach fat you'll keep getting or keep gaining to be more accurate through a process of what I loosely call the aromatase cycle. Okay. So here's how the aromatase cycle works. Excess fat, especially stomach fat, blocks the release of your testosterone, the male anabolic muscle building hormone, right? As we already discussed. Now, fat cells produce an enzyme called aromatase. And the aromatase takes your testosterone and converts it to estrogen. Yeah, that's right. You end up with a nice healthy dose of man boobs. So this actually results in the down regulation of what's called GLUT4 or GLUT4, G-L-U-T4. It's the insulin responding glucose transporter protein found predominantly in muscle and fat cells. Now, here's why that's important. Because as a result, you end up with increased glucose intolerance and increased insulin resistance. Okay. Now, in case you are wondering what are those things and why are they important? Well, glucose intolerance is abnormally and excessively high blood sugar and insulin resistance is the need for excess insulin release from your beta cells in your pancreas and your liver to store carbohydrates. So let me just, in case you missed what I just said, let me just clarify there. The insulin's release from the beta cells in the pancreas, right? Not your liver. It's just there are two things going on there. It's the inability of your liver to store those carbohydrates. All right. So now both of these things are incredibly dangerous because as I mentioned before, they can lead to type two diabetes, type two diabetes, right? And all the fun, wonderful stuff that comes with it, you know, like heart disease, okay, which includes hardening of the arteries, buildup of plaque in the arteries, okay, hardening, stiffness of the arteries, right? This is where things like uh, heart attacks and strokes come from, right? Clogged arteries. ED, everybody's favorite, right? Everybody's party favorite. It's that guy to the party that nobody wants, the erectile dysfunction. And uh, the best part, of course, is the last part. And that's where, you know, things get so bad, you get to have the wonderful opportunity to have your feet amputated, right? So nobody wants any of that crap. I think I just said crap subconsciously and actually it just came out. So if that offends you, well, so be it. Anyway, so look, the point is here, you end up with low T, low testosterone, high estrogen, excess body fat, and most of the carbs you eat end up being stored as fat and you just get fatter and fatter and fatter. This becomes a vicious cycle from which many never escape. Therefore, right, I think you could logically conclude along with me, right, I'm kind of, we'll, we'll reach this conclusion together that one of the smartest things you can do to regain your manhood is to aggressively take charge of your health and get rid of that stomach fat pronto. Okay. Notice how I said aggressively here. Okay. This is not for the passive, uh, not for the weak, not for the faint of heart. Okay. Acknowledge you have a problem. Well, let's get after it. Okay. So how are you going to do that? Well, there are two basic ways you can do this. Okay. The first way is what I call the long way or the long way, right? Now, if you're like most guys, you don't like stopping and asking for directions. You won't admit when you're lost. You don't read directions. You try and figure things out for yourself. I know myself, I've never, ever been accused of doing any of those things. And I've never, ever participated in any of those things myself, right? I always read the directions and I always follow the maps, okay? So <clears throat> anyway, you can do the long way, right? <laughs> and this consists of, trying to go this alone and figure this stuff out for yourself, right? It includes incessantly watching YouTube videos, not mine, of course, because mine are 
action-packed and full of a useful, immediately actionable information, right? Obviously. Another one is hunting for advice on forums by people who may or may not have had success in doing what you're trying to do, achieving what you're trying to achieve, and uh, downloading free workouts that may or may not work, right? So the point is, right, the long way usually consists of of using lots of trial and error for which most ends up being mostly error, right? So that's the long way. Number two is the short way. And this is quite simple. It's using a proven plan. And this is exactly what Tony, the gentleman I alluded to in the title of this video, Tony DeCerci, I believe I pronounced his last name wrong, reported about following a proven plan on a flash uh, his, what he posted on one of my videos, we'll put it up here on the screen. And this is what he said. Tony says his burn protocol works, works, not advertisement frowning in the squishy before happy and tan with better lighting in the after results. I smile on all my fat photos. I've shaved four inches off my waist in a month from a stretch fiber, 40 inch waist to old school Levi's. I'm not moving 36 inch waist, right? So I think you'd agree. Those are pretty good results. Right. So what is this burn protocol Tony referenced? Well, it's it's what I consider to be the world's number one kettlebell fat loss program. It's called Kettlebell Burn 2.0. Now, why do I consider it to be the world's number one fat burning program? Only because I've got about 67 pages of testimonials and reviews. And I, I, I'm not being sarcastic when I say about 67 pages. If you stack all the reviews and you put a double space between each one of the reviews, it turns out to be about 67 pages. I might be exaggerating. It could be 63, right? So uh, let's split the difference and say 65 pages, okay, of reviews in a Word document, okay? I don't know of any other program, and it could just be my ignorance. I don't know of any other program that has that many positive reviews about it, all right? So, you know, if you would like to check out these reviews, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And if you think that this program sounds like it might help you shave up to four inches off your waist. Now, again, I'm going to throw a big disclaimer out here. OK, Tony is Tony and he's unique. And I'm not saying that you are going to get the exact same results as Tony. But what I am saying is if you decide that you engage in the process in the burn protocol found inside Kettlebell Burn 2.0, you will see results just like the other people in the 65, 67, 63 pages, whatever it is of reviews, which you can check out in this link below. All right. So if you want to add your name to those list of reviews, go ahead, check out the link. And, uh, you know, let me know what you thought of this video. Was this video helpful? Does this, has, did this video explain why you might be frustrated with body fat, right? With the old stomach fat and why you can't seem to lose it and why, as you get older, it just seems to get larger. And, uh, Leave me some other thoughts, right? Have you used kettlebells to strip off body fat from your waist or body fat from anywhere else, right? And how are you using your kettlebells currently, right? So I look forward to your comments. I read them. I answer them all, although I don't answer them necessarily immediately. Sometimes it takes me up to, I'm not going to tell you how long it takes me because sometimes I just forget about this YouTube channel, right? I'm not a big social media guy, which is why if you search social media, this is about the only place I post uh, other than <clears throat> other than Facebook. If you found this video helpful, again, just click the like button, click the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And if you found it really helpful, pass it along to a friend who's struggling with some stomach fat as well. All right. Until next time, my friend, stay strong. <laughs>